Comstock Mining, Nevada's next gold producer going from 20,000 to 100,000 ounces per year. Corrado, great to have you here. Let's start with your terrific company, Comstock Mining. Give us a short idea about where are you listed, where, what are you doing? We're listed in uh, New York and we're located in Nevada and we've consolidated an entire historical district. We've put together a good base of land and a really good base of institutional investors. Mm -hmm, great. Can you give us an idea about your institutional investors? We have some of the top names in New York, uh, Texas, California, mm -hmm. like Royce, Sun Valley, U.S. Global, uh, really some of the premier resource investors. Mm -hmm, fantastic. You're already in production, so uh, give us an idea about your metrics. How many ounces have you produced since when you are doing that? What are the costs? N initially, we started on a smaller scale, but we had very good cost performance. So we've been now mining for over three full years. Mm -hmm. We've done about 20,000 ounces of gold and almost 250,000 ounces of silver per year. And our cost ultimately got down to below uh, 1,000 all in sustaining and below 625 for just mining. So we're very happy to have done good cost even at a low level, but we're permitted to grow much bigger. Mm -hmm, great. So where, where do you want to grow? You're from 20,000 up to where? So 20,000 was a good starting point, but we really like to be a 100,000 ounce uh, gold producer. Uh, 100,000 ounces of gold would come with a million ounces of silver. So we like those numbers very well. Also, by having a higher rate of production, we'll drive our uh, unit costs down further. Fantastic. As you are located in Nevada, you have a prominent uh, neighborhood with a great land skill. I think in the neighborhood is also Tesla and Switch. Yeah, yeah. How can you benefit from that? Nevada generally is a fantastic state for mining, but we're in a special location. Not only are we in one of the most famous mining districts with the Comstock load, but we're in very close proximity to a large industrial park with, as you said, mm -hmm. great companies like Tesla, Switch, Apple, Toys R Us, Barnes & Noble, incredible inflow of business, and also very close to Lake Tahoe. So our property values are going up tremendously. And so that means in addition to the ounces you have already in the ground, the property value is rising through the industrial park, right? Property value is <laughs> rising for sure because we have 16 square kilometers. Yeah. Much of it is mineral claims and mining lands, but much of it is also non-mining. So we have some very valuable land that we accumulated over the last 12, 13 years. Great. Let's talk about how you want to achieve to grow from 20,000 to 100,000 ounces. You want to go underground, right? Yes, we want to go underground. One of our best results have been the gold and silver yields from our rocks. So we're very excited to shift from an open pit to an underground tunnel, accessing the highest grades. So in fact, we can go from 20,000 to 60,000, maybe 80,000 with much less tons and much higher grade. Mm -hmm, fantastic. Um, yeah, let's say that, uh, of course, when you want to produce more, you need also resources. What resources do you have so far? We have significant resources in two of our six uh, target areas. In the first one, Lucerne, over two and a half million ounces of gold and almost 26 million ounces of silver. Mm -hmm. In the Dayton, much less drilling so far, but just equally good results. So far, half a million gold equivalent ounces. So in total, we have about three million ounces, but we feel like we've only just started scratching the surface mm -hmm. for the potential of the whole district. Wow. So so in a percentage way, how much um, you have explored so far from your large land packages? I mean, you have 16 oh, square kilometers, yeah. right? If you consider depth, mm -hmm. we're probably less than 5%.